Hello everyone, okay. Air conditioner has to come on and my camera is about to die. Okay, um, I plan to film this at a really bad time. Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the Never Have I Ever AG tag. This tag was created by AG Tutorials. I have the link to her channel in the description box below. Make sure to go check out her channel. She makes the most awesome videos I've ever seen. And I'm excited to do this tag. I was tagged by Creative AG Stars to do this, and I'm super excited. I know I just said I'm excited twice, but I am. The way this is going to work is I have two emojis representing guilty and innocent. So this is guilty and this is innocent. When I hold up this, innocent, guilty. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time and just get started. The first question is never have I ever scram or gotten upset at my doll who keeps on falling. Pretty sure every AG tuber has done this and I'm guilty, I'm one of them. So I remember one time out of the times I've done it, it was with Ellie. I was doing a photo shoot outside and it was really windy and she kept on falling and I just looked at her and said, Ellie, can you please stand for this one photo? Like, can you just please use all your strength that you have in your small dog body and just like fight the wind? That would be like super amazing. The next question is, never have I ever sat on a doll. Okay, every AG tuber, again, has said, oh no, I would never sit on my doll. Okay, if it's on purpose, no. If it's on accident, I'm guilty of it. Okay, so I did not mean to sit on my doll, but it was with Emily. I, um, I was doing Emily's hair, and also Ellie's hair. I was like doing Ellie's hair at the moment, and um, I had to go get elastics so I got up got elastics and then when I sat back down on my bed I sat on Emily's arm <laughs> I was I just was super dramatic about it I said oh my goodness I'm so sorry the next question is never have I ever done something to deliberately hurt my doll um I'm innocent on this one and oh, okay that's my lens cap anyway I would never like I purposely hurt my doll at all because I consider my dolls like basically my children. That was a metaphor, not actually. But they're like my children. I would never ever like purposely hurt them. The next question is never have I ever taken a doll to the doll hospital. I'm innocent on this one. I've never actually done it. I almost did it with my old number 56 doll and Emily. The next question is, never have I ever uh, gone to the AG store without buying anything. Okay, I'm guilty of, of doing this. I've done this a couple times. Okay, several times. <laughs> I've done this a lot. I just like go to the American Girl store and like in my head I'm thinking like, okay, I gotta pick out what I am going to be saving for. Sorry if you can hear that, that's my mom's phone. But anyway. Um, yeah, I've just gone there just like, ooh, that's cute. I think I should save up for this. And so and sometimes I just go and like add up the total and I'm just like, oh okay, I have to save this much money to get all this stuff. So <laughs> that's just basically what I do. The next question is never have I ever made my own doll clothes. I am guilty of doing this. I've tried to make my own doll clothes before in the past. I actually the oldest like doll clothes that I have that I made on my own was when I actually before I started my channel. The next question is never have I ever made an AGSM and failed. I'm totally guilty of this because before I started my channel I asked it I actually made stop motions for my family to see and I would pretend like I'm post actually posting it on YouTube like I would play at the end oh comment like and subscribe and then I would end up deleting it and just I, I just really wish I would have saved it, but it's fine. The next question is never have I ever done a photo shoot in public and have someone ask about my doll hobby. Yes, I've actually done a photo shoot twice at a flower park that I went to this past two times. And if you want to see the photos, follow me on, on Instagram. 
while I was there, the last two, time, two times I was there, I've gotten comments like, Oh my goodness, she's so cute, and oh, her doll's so pretty, and, and all that, and like, yeah. The next question is, never have I ever customized a doll. I am innocent. I've never customized a doll before in my life. The next question is, never have I ever made a video and never posted it. I am guilty of this. And back to the, like, before I started my channel, I made stop motions just to show my family. Next question is, never have I ever told my friends about my doll hobby. I am guilty of this. I told only my closest friends, like my best friends, about my doll hobby and they're totally fine with it. They think it's like really, really cool. Never have I ever broken my camera. I am innocent on this one. I've never broken a camera in my life. The next question is, never have I ever kissed my doll. I am guilty of this because like whenever my dolls fall, like if I drop them or they fall, I just will start, like I will kiss their head and I will like hug them. Like I feel like I, I drop a baby, like literally a baby, like a newborn. I feel so bad and I, <laughs> I overreact in those situations. I'm just really overdramatic. <laughs> Finally, the last question is, never have I ever lost my doll slash camera. I am innocent. I have never lost any of my dolls or my camera, and I hope I never do, because, I mean, I would just, I would just, I would just die. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a big thumbs up and please press that little subscribe button for more amazing videos. And also, if you want to get notified for my like for every time I post a video, just click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button and you can be in a, a part of the notification squad. Where are you at, notification squad? Anyway, uh, I will be posting another episode of Leo's Corner finally after like two months this Saturday, so look out for that. If you have any video ideas, like any topic ideas for the next episode of Leo's Corner, then leave your suggestions down below in the comments and it can be summer related or anything like that. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!